Hello, 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 my beautiful souls and all the amazing moon people out there. How are you? My name is Nicole Luna, and I thank you so much for pressing play and tuning in to the Full Moon Radio podcast today. In today's epic episode, we are going to dive deep into the energy of the Aquarius new moon and how this energy is going to affect your life this year and years to come. As always, I will share the best crystal to pair with this new moon and leave you with a powerful affirmation to help you reprogram your mind and align with this new moon energy. I also have an Aquarius new moon playlist for you to set intentions, activate your intuition, and celebrate this new moon. Starting out with a little life update and what's going on in my world, in my life, and whew, you guys, this has been the busiest month of my entire life. I cannot remember a time I was busier than maybe when I was in college. I have been working on my course, working on this amazing transform transformative program for all of you, and I've been shooting, I've been editing, I've been recording videos, I've been getting the web page ready, and I've been doing so much behind the scenes work for my new program. It is it has been outrageous. I have been living behind my computer and my bright recording lights for the last couple weeks, and I hope I don't end up blind from all of these videos and from all of this recording all of this content. I've officially recorded 22 videos for the program. All I have to finish is the two guided meditations and the moon ritual that go with the program. And then I have to edit up all the uh, edit up all the videos get everything into one place on the web page and have it all ready for you this new moon. I can't remember a time that I have done so much work in such a little time, but I am so excited to have this course done. I'm going to be celebrating the completion of this program with a special trip to the Mount Princeton Hot Springs at the end of the month. I am so excited. I am going to go into the hot springs. I am going to treat myself to a much needed relaxing weekend and just celebrate the fact that I got this done. I got it all done in the time that I wanted to, and I'm so excited to get this program out to all of you. So besides working, editing, shooting videos and content, I have not done much this month, the entire month of January. I cannot wait to celebrate at the Hot Springs at the end of the month, and I'll be going to the Mount Prince and Hot Springs February 21st and 22nd, and I cannot wait to take you guys with me. If you're not already following me on social media, make sure you Give me a follow at fullmoon.radio so you can follow along on all my fun adventures. And every day on our story, we have a high vibrational song for you. We have the current moon phase and energy, and we have an affirmation for you every single day. So if you're not following us on social media already, go ahead and give us a follow at fullmoon.radio because there is so much awesome stuff going on every single day to keep you aligned and on track and inspired. I also have an update on our moon calendar. I have been working relentlessly trying to find a print company to print out this amazing and unique moon calendar that I've created with all of the moon phases, with all of the retrogrades and all the important astrological dates. I There are tons of companies that print calendars. There are tons of companies that print custom things, but I cannot find the right company to print this calendar for me. I cannot find a company that will print custom artwork on every page and custom dates. I cannot find the perfect company. So what I've decided is that I'm going to release this moon calendar as a digital download. Yay. So all of you will be able to download our 2021 moon calendar that has all the moon phases, all the new moons, all the full moons and their sign, all of the retrogrades and all the important astrological dates that you need to know this year. The moon calendar digital download will be available for you all on the new moon on February 11th. So make sure you tune make sure you head to fullmoonradio.shop and you will be able to download the digital moon calendar this new moon on February 11th. Yay! And this episode is sponsored by our new moon, new me manifestation workshop. You guys, I am so excited to announce I am hosting a manifestation workshop 
on the new moon this month. This is going to be a two-day workshop where we dive into moon manifestation, law of attraction, intention setting, and we will be busting through all of the blocks that are standing in the way of you getting to your goals. So this is going to be a two day workshop, February 10th and February 11th, this new moon. I cannot wait to see you guys online. The entire workshop is going to be online. We will meet for one hour each morning. It will come with a workbook, a playlist, and we will be doing some really awesome manifestation techniques and exercises in the workshop. So if you are ready to dive deeper into your moon manifestation process, then join me on February 10th and 11th at the New Moon, New Me Manifestation Workshop. There are some amazing giveaways that I'm going to do for the people that are joining us, and you can sign up for this workshop by clicking the link in our show notes. Click the link in our show notes to sign up and check out all the details about this wonderful manifestation workshop. I am so excited. This is going to be my first manifestation workshop. I've been teaching yoga classes and different wellness workshops for the last five years, but this is going to be my first workshop on strictly manifestation. So I am so excited to help you guys dive further into your manifestation practice and guide you into your best life this year. So if you are ready to manifest those big dreams and dive deep into the world of manifesting with the moon, join us at this workshop. I cannot wait to see you there. The link to sign up is in the show notes. All right. All of that being said, let's get to the meat of this episode. My loves, we have a new moon coming up and this new moon is so important. We have a new moon coming up in the sign of Aquarius happening at 11.06 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, making that 7.06 p.m. in London on February 11th. That makes this new moon happen at 6.06 a.m. on February 12th in Sydney. So you'll either be celebrating this new moon on February 11th or February 12th, depending on where you live on this beautiful earth. This new moon is so important, you guys. It's even more important than January's new moon. It is the most important new moon of this entire year because the energy from this new moon is going to last until 2023, you guys. This new moon is almost as potent, if not more potent, than a new moon eclipse, than a super moon. We also have the Lunar New Year happening on February 12th, making this new moon even bigger for new beginnings, new celebrations, and the start of a new lunar year. The Lunar New Year marks the year of the ox and a start of a new annual lunar cycle. So I always thought it was so cool that China, Korea, Japan, and some other Asian countries actually use the moon as their main guide for their calendar. They follow the moon cycles for their calendar, and they actually start their new year on the Lunar New Year, which is February 12th. So Happy New Year to our listeners out in Asia, and Happy New Moon to the rest of the world. This new moon is so important because the sun, the moon, and four other planets are all in the sign of Aquarius. So if you can remember a couple podcasts back, we talked about the winter solstice and the shift into this Aquarian age. So not only did we move into a new Aquarian type energy for the entire collective, we now have six planets in the sign of Aquarius continuing this Aquarius momentous energy into our lives. We have six planets in the sign of Aquarius, and this is called a stellium. When we have three or more planets in the same sign at the same time, it is called a stellium. And right now we have a stellium in Aquarius. The sun is in Aquarius. The moon is in Aquarius. Mercury is in Aquarius. Venus is in Aquarius. Jupiter is in Aquarius. And Saturn is in Aquarius, you guys. 
all of this Aquarius energy is running through the personal and the collective right now. Aquarius is a fixed air sign that governs the mind and the mental energy. Aquarian energy is revolutionary, it's progressive, it's fast thinking and fast moving. Aquarius energy helps us think out of the box and our minds can become very active and clear under this sign. This new moon will rise in Aquarius, bringing rebellious energy, bringing transformative energy, and bringing a sense of compassion and empathy for the collective. In astrology, the new moon always signifies a fresh start, and it is the perfect time for looking inside, introspection, reflection, and planning ahead. It is the best time to plant seeds for the future, knowing that this Aquarian energy is going to carry this in, with this intention until 2023. In this sign of Aquarius, the best things that you can focus on are friendships, group activities, social pursuits, group projects, learning something new, humanitarian efforts, or joining an aligned community are the best things that you can focus on and manifest under the Aquarian new moon. This is also a great time which we can solve problems that require us to think outside of the box. We can also look into the future with a brand new, positive, hopeful perspective and vision. So this Aquarian new moon is asking you to reopen the door to any issues or projects that you may have deemed impossible. It's time to come back to them with a new perspective because this Aquarian energy can help those big impossible goals seem easily attainable. It's also a time to look back at the problems that you have in your life because you will be able to look at these problems from a higher vision, from a new perspective. These big problems may be pathways and opportunities in this new Aquarian energy. So analyze and look and see how you can open your mind and look at your issues with that deeper perspective. This Aquarian new moon is bringing new inspiration, new passions, and something new is emerging in your consciousness regarding a new beginning. There is a new vision coming in. A new dream may be forming. Some of the intentions that you set back on the January new moon and some of the intentions you set for this new year may not be aligned with who you really are and what you really are here to do on this earth. There is a new vision, some new inspirations and new dreams that are going to be coming to the surface for you this new moon and new goals can lead you to a life greater than you have ever known. So look at your life right now. Where are you ready to go? Where are you feeling inspired? Where are you feeling pulled and called and drawn to? Where are you feeling inspired to move forward in life? And what new ideas and inspiration are flowing through you right now? It's okay if they're different. It's okay if they're new. It's okay if they're ideas that you've never even thought of pursuing before. That's what this Aquarian energy is all about. We have to follow the signs and the stars. And as the planets move on, so do we. All six of the planets that are in Aquarius right now have just moved from Capricorn. And just like the planets have moved, it's time for us to move. It's time for us to shift. It's time to move on. It's time to move on to bigger and better things. Last year, we saw what wasn't real, what wasn't true, and what wasn't in alignment with our life. We were tested. We lost a lot. And we experienced a lot of turmoil that will help us grow. And everything that wasn't in alignment with our truth was brought to the surface to be released. What wasn't working last year had to go. What wasn't working in our lives had to go. And the universe took it from us, whether 
it was pleasant or whether it was hard. So last year, it was like preparing you for this year. Last year was cleaning your plate, clearing your slate, and getting you ready for this year. This year is all about the Aquarian energy, and the Aquarian energy wants you to connect with the real you. It wants you to know who you are at a soul level. It's almost like everything was stripped from us so we could finally become us. So we could finally learn who we are and learn what lights us up. This year is all about taking a look at every aspect of our life as a whole and understanding who we are, what we're about, and what we are going to do to serve the world. This Aquarian energy and new moon wants you to look at your unique, unique gifts and talents. How are you different? How are you unique? What are your natural talents and gifts? These are your powers, you guys. These are your powers, your strengths, and what this world needs more of. The world needs you to be more like you and not try to be just like everyone else. You were born different and you were born unique so that you could share these gifts with the world and the world is now ready for you to express them. The world is ready for you to be authentically you and to share yourself just as you are. The world is ready for you to wake up and serve this world with your unique presence with your unique energy and with who you are at the soul level. You can expect emotions to arise around this Aquarian moon. Expect some frustrations to arise in your forward motion as you move forward. Once you decide what this new dream is, you're going to want to get to that new dream fast and you want it to happen right now and you want it to be there. Once you figure out what it is, you're just going to want to be there immediately. So you might have some frustration and some anger during this new moon because you aren't there yet. You aren't there just yet, but you are exactly where you need to be. You are on the right path. You are working towards it. So expect some tension between this new dream and what you need to do in order to get there. Your mind is going to be there. You're going to have very, very big downloads and very big inspiration and very, very big aha moments this new moon. And your mind is going to be inspired and on fire and able to easily connect with that vision of what you need to do and who you want to become. But there is still work that needs to be done. There is still mental work that you need to do. There is still physical work that you need to do in order to get there. So ask the universe for signs and for guidance more than ever right now. Ask the universe to show you the ideas that are going to lead you to your truest and most fulfilled life. Ask the universe to show you what you need to do, show you the next step, and to show you the lessons that you need to learn in order to move forward. Connect with your higher self, connect with the universe, connect with your guides, and ask for clues, for signs, and for guidance more than ever this new moon. The universe is always communicating with you and always trying to lead you to your best destination. So listen and follow the signs this new moon. Ask for guidance and when you feel inspired and called to take action, take the action. Do the work, do the baby steps, and do what you need to do to move forward this moon. Know that the universe, as you take baby steps, the universe is going to match those baby steps and you will take leaps towards where you want to go, towards those big dreams, towards those new intentions if you start taking action this new moon. Baby steps will turn into quantum leaps with this Aquarian energy. So see what big visions come through and ask your guides to show you what you need to do, show you the next step and show you how to get to that goal. We are under Mercury's first retrograde of the year and Mercury is in retrograde right now under the sign of Aquarius as well. 
So be careful with your words this new moon. Be careful with miscommunications. Be careful with um, texts and arguments in your relationships. Mercury will be retrograde until February 21st. So be careful until then and pay attention until then because Mercury is a messenger, okay? And Mercury has been gathering information on what you want to do and who you want to become. And this Mercury retrograde has been working behind the scenes and help to help you uncover clues as to what you are moving into, as to what phase, what chapter, what new big dream you are moving into. So really pay attention to what comes up for you during this Mercury retrograde, during this new moon. It could be the next biggest thing in your life, the next biggest opportunity, the next biggest chapter, and the next biggest moment that you are moving into right now. I know personally, I have been feeling a lot of these feelings. I have been feeling that what I'm currently doing is not what I'm supposed to be doing. I've been feeling that what I'm currently doing isn't lighting me up on the inside as it should. And I've been feeling this need, this calling to switch my line of work, to switch careers, to switch my calling, to switch what I am truly passionate about. I've been, I've been, it's really weird, but I've been getting a lot of clues and a lot of pull and a lot of emotional engagement with real with reality and with being a realtor and with making people's dreams come true in that field so it's so weird i've never in my life thought about being a realtor but i keep getting these hunches and i keep getting these synchronicities and signs from the universe and i've actually been looking into it a little bit already so just know that some ideas, some feelings, and some energy could be flowing through you that is going to be pulling you in a new direction. And know that wherever you're being pulled can be something magic for you. Not only this new moon, but this entire year is going to be expansive. It's going to be creative. Doors are going to be opening. New opportunities are going to keep growing. You are going to be learning, expanding, and evolving throughout this entire year and years to come. So if you don't know what you're being called to right now, if you don't know what this new vision in this new big dream looks like just yet, your biggest job is to stay open. The worst thing you can do right now is to grasp and hold on to who you used to be. The best thing you can do right now is to stay open to all of the limitless and unlimited opportunities and possibilities that are going to be flowing into your life now. Just remember to go with the flow and take action when it feels good and when it feels right. Take inspired action towards new goals, new projects, new ideas when it feels right, when you feel pulled and called. So if you don't know right now, it is okay. Just stay open and know that this year you will be supported and know that whatever you start in February this year will continue to grow into 2022 and to 2023. This energy is huge. You can imagine that this new moon is like the universe stopping you in your track. It is stopping you and saying, hey, why don't you give this a try? Hey, why don't you look at what could be possible in your life that you have never thought of before? Hey, why don't you give this opportunity a shot? Why don't you go for this? Hey, have you ever thought of this? This new moon is really pulling you to give something new a try. So what is it that you're being pulled and called to? Because those big, far-fetched dreams are going to seem a lot more realistic this new moon. This Aquarius moon wants you to dream big and bigger and to this 
this new moon wants you to dream big and even bigger and stay open to even bigger possibilities. Dream big and do not worry about how you're going to make the dream happen. Do not worry about how the dream's going to come, how you're going to make it happen. The blueprint will come. The outline will come. The steps that you need to take will come. But it is your job to think big and to stay open to all the possibilities this year. You are going to learn a lot about yourself this year and this moon. You are going to enlighten to what your gifts are, what brings you joy, what inspires you, what you're meant to do, and how you are supposed to share those gifts with the world. This year is going to be a year of enlightenment and how you can be strong, clear, and proud of who you are at a soul level. This is going to be a year of rapid growth, transformation, and we will all continue to grow and build on these new dreams and visions for years to come. There's something this new moon that you're going to have a big aha moment. There's something this new moon that the universe wants you to stop and take a look at. There is something with this new moon that you're supposed to really understand, go after, and make the most of. So take time this new moon to be silent, to listen, to look within, and hear the clues that are going to guide you to your new beginning. Be silent, be the observer, and listen for intuitive downloads, for inspiration, and for new insights on your new big dream. The best, best thing you can do this new moon is to stay open to all of the possibilities and not hold on to who you used to be because who you are becoming is completely different than who you once were. The worst thing you can do is hold on to the identity that you are carrying right now because your identity is going to change for the better and you have to be open to changing with it. So get in touch with yourself this moon and know that those big impossible dreams are going to be possible for you this year. Moving right along, my loves, the best crystal to pair with this Aquarius new moon is aquamarine. Aquamarine is a calming, soothing, beautiful blue stone that inspires truth, trust, and letting go. In ancient times, aquamarine was believed to be the treasure of the mermaids, and it was used by sailors as a token of good luck, fearlessness, and protection. It was also considered a stone of eternal youth and happiness. Today, aquamarine is known as Aquarius's power stone. It promotes spiritual awareness and service to humankind. It helps you align your purpose with your current experience, and it can help you bring insights from the future to the present to align and thrive in this moment. Aquamarine is also a stone of empowerment and it will give you the courage to express your inner knowing and it enhances your intuitive abilities. Aquamarine can be used as a gateway crystal to the divine feminine and a gateway to your most authentic self. It's calming and intuitive energy is going to really help you connect and receive these new downloads and connect with your truth this new moon. And here are three ways you can use it with this new moon energy. The first way you can use aquamarine, aquamarine this new moon is as an intention activator. By placing this crystal on your third eye chakra, you can help activate this big new vision. You can help this big new inspiration, this insight, this new beginning come through. All you have to do is place this crystal on your third eye chakra and close your eyes and deeply breathe for 10 minutes. Every time you take a deep breath in, visualize white energy filling your entire third eye space, filling your entire mental space. And every breath out, Allow any negativity, any doubts, any fears to just disintegrate. 
every time you take a breath in, allow that white light energy to fill your third eye, fill your mind's eye, and every breath out, you are letting go of anything in the way of this vision. After 10 minutes, you will receive. So place the crystal on your third eye for 10 minutes. And after you deeply breathe and you allow this crystal energy to completely take over your mind and body, you're going to ask your higher self for a message. You are going to ask your higher self for some inspiration. And you are going to do this by saying, I ask my higher self, my wise self, and my spirit self to please send a sign regarding my new beginning. Please send something into my consciousness that will help me know what I need to do and what I need to work towards. After you've asked for a sign, you literally are going to receive a message. Whatever comes up for you, whatever the very first intuitive message you get or download you receive is, write it down and know that this is something that you need to go after, look into, and build on, expand on in your life. This is something that could be huge and amazing for you in your life. The second way you can use aquamarine this new moon is by doing a throat chakra clearing and finding your truth exercise. I call this exercise finding my truth. So aquamarine is one of the strongest stones for clearing and activating the throat chakra, which is the truth center, the home of our truth and our communication, the way that we get our truth out into the world. And aquamarine is going to stimulate the energy from the heart to the throat, and it'll help you allow your deepest, most heartfelt truths to be communicated and released. So to do the Finding My Truth exercise, you will place the the aquamarine on your throat chakra, right on your throat, like if you had an Adam's apple, right where your Adam's apple would be, for 10 minutes. And as you do this, you're going to repeat the mantra. You're going to repeat this mantra over and over and over again for 10 minutes. And when you're done repeating the mantra, you are going to journal on what comes up. So you're going to place your throat chakra Place your aquamarine on your throat chakra for 10 minutes. You're going to repeat this mantra. It is okay for me to be myself. It is okay for me to express myself. I find my light. I find my truth. It is and repeat it over and over again. It is okay for me to be myself. It is okay for me to express myself. I find my light. I find my truth. Repeat that mantra over and over and over. Set your timer for 10 minutes with the with your uh, aquamarine crystal right on your throat chakra, you'll repeat that mantra for 10 minutes until the timer goes off. Once the timer goes off, feel the rush of freeness and of authenticity running through you and journal on whatever comes out. Journal on whatever feels right, whatever you found was your light and your truth. The last way you can use aquamarine for this new moon is by making an aquamarine new moon water. To make an aquamarine new moon water, you simply need to get a large jar um, that you can seal. I recommend the larger the jar, the better, because the, lo the larger the jar, the longer the water will last. So to make your new moon water, you are going to want to get a large jar, fill it with filtered water, and add your aquamarine crystal to the jar of water. If you don't have an aquamarine crystal, you can still make new moon water this moon and still have a very potent moon water to work with. So you've added your uh, aquamarine crystal to the water, and then you want to leave it outside the night of the new moon. This water is going to then charge and infuse with the energy of this new moon, and then you can add it to your bath, you can add it to your moon rituals, and you can actually drink a sip of this water in your morning routine or your daily ritual every single day to be charged with this energy for months to come. So you can use this new moon water to reactivate your intentions that you've set or to reset intentions with this new moon energy since it is so potent. The water will be charged and you can use it for many moons to come. Making moon water is probably one of my favorite ways to celebrate the moon and to continue to carry the energy with me for moons to come and as I work towards these intentions. So I hope you have a lot of fun working with aquamarine energy this Aquarius new moon. 
moving right along the affirmation that aligns and will help you align your mind with the energy of this Aquarius new moon is I love myself I trust myself and I graciously embrace this new beginning Woo! let's say it again let's say it loud say it proud say it with belief and confidence so every cell of your body can feel it I love myself, I trust myself, and I graciously embrace this new beginning. Yes, my queens, remember that affirmations work with repetition. So the more that you use it, the more that your mind, your subconscious mind, and your body is going to get on board. And the more that you say it, the faster you will start attracting a new beginning into your life. Last, but definitely not least, I have a high vibrational music mix, a new high vibe playlist for you to celebrate this Aquarius moon. You can click the link in the show notes to stream the playlist. And this playlist is made for you to align with the Aquarius energy, to set your new moon intentions, to do your new moon journaling, to take a new moon bath, to do a new moon meditation, or to just visualize on your new vision. The playlist was made for you. Music is a powerful tool that can help us manifest. Music boosts our manifestation powers by aligning us with a higher frequency, making us a stronger vibration to attract all of our desires. You can even do a new moon visualization to this music playlist. You can visualize your intention. You can visualize yourself having it, holding it, and enjoying it for all that it is. You can create a scene where your intention is already real. You can create a real life scene and you can live out that scene to the music. Whatever you do to the music, know that the music is helping raise your vibration and helping you attract this intention. And every time you come back and listen to this music, you will reactivate these intentions and feelings in your body and you will become even more magnetic to your big dreams, to your big goals. So enjoy the playlist. Let it bring all these new insights, new downloads, and new beginnings to your consciousness. Well, my loves, that is all I have for you in this episode. Do not forget to sign up for our two-day New Moon, New Me Manifestation Workshop. This New Moon Workshop is happening February 10th and 11th, 2021. We are going to dive deep into moon manifestation, law of attraction, setting potent attention, and clearing the blocks that are in the way of receiving our goals. You can sign up for this workshop by clicking the link in the show notes. And I have a really awesome giveaway for those who join us. So again, the New Moon, New Me Manifestation Workshop is happening this new moon, this February on the 10th and the 11th. We will meet online for one hour each morning and you will become a master moon manifester by the time the workshop is over. Link to sign up and all the details you need for the workshop are in the show notes. Don't also don't forget to listen to the new moon playlist for your intuitive downloads, your journaling, your intention setting, your new moon rituals and meditating on that new vision that's coming your way. And if you're absolutely loving this podcast, don't forget to subscribe, rate and leave us a review. Your engagement is huge for this podcast and your ratings, your reviews, and even hitting the subscribe button helps this podcast rise to the top and get shared with more people around the world who need it. We will be back on the podcast next week, just one week from today on February 3rd. I have a very special episode for you where I'm going to be sharing my story. I actually have never shared my story with you guys and it is time for you to know who I am, where I came from, and how the moon has absolutely changed my life. So in next week's episode, February 3rd, I'm going to be talking all about my story, where I came from, and how the moon helped me get from where I was to the six-figure entrepreneur that I am today. So I look forward so much to seeing you in the next episode, and I can't wait to see you all at the workshop, the Manifestation Workshop, this month on the 10th and the 11th. 
I send you all love, light, and big new moon blessings. Stay in tune, and I'll see you soon.